That's a weird ass smile. Um, hi, hello, welcome. I just filmed another video and thought I might as well film this one as well because I'm sitting here already. <laughs> um, and also my cup of tea is finally um, not scolding so I can drink it now. It's not cold. It's very still very warm, but it's 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 not scolding. Cheers. So um I don't remember when it was now, but it was a couple of weeks ago at least. I saw Jack on Spread Book Joy do this tag. Um and I was like, you know what? I haven't done a tag in a very long time. I'm not sure if I've done a tag this year. If I have, it was like in January, so basically forever ago. Uh, also, today, October 31st, when I'm posting this video, it's not actually October 31st yet. The magic of pre filming. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it is also, as it is Jack, um, or was rather it's it's still kind of anyway it's it is my like three years on booktube anniversary kind of thing so it's like october 31st halloween it's a tuesday it's my third year of posting videos on this channel let's do a tag so i'm doing the same tag she did so it's behind the booktube tag yeah Cool. So let's get into the questions. I shall shall, shall 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 be sipping some tea because I clearly need it. And uh, let's answer some questions, shall we? Okay. Question number one: What has surprised you most about BookTube, both in a good way and in a bad way? I'm not sure. I've had very many surprises. I'm not sure I had any any like s intentions of anything or like predetermined thoughts of what I was gonna get out of doing book videos on YouTube, booktube. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think maybe I'm surprised about how big the actual community. I mean, there's like loads of tiny communities, tiny, some are big, some are small, uh, throughout. But as like BookTube as a whole, I think maybe I'm surprised how many channels there actually are. Um, there are a lot. There are a lot. And uh, I want to watch them all. Uh, there's not enough time in the world for that but I do try to watch a lot well I don't try to watch a lot I accidentally watch a lot and then I forget to do other things I'm not sure I've had any bad surprises have I I'm not sure I'm not sure so there's an answer Question number two, how do you balance reading and booktube with the rest of your life? I don't think I have a like proper answer for it. The thing is I just do. I just do. I mean I've always read. Since joining booktube I've started reading even more. I'm not quite sure how that happened but it's happened. I mean, so far this year, I'm over a hundred books. Um, I think I'm on a hundred and ten or something. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm like, how did this happen? Because I used to read like thirty books and be like, ooh, that's a lot. Um, but like, since like every year since, um, I just keep reading more, and I'm not quite sure how. Uh, especially this year. This year um, has been a big, a big year. Uh, it has, a, it's been a year where a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have happened at once. <laughs> and they've happened quite recently. Yeah. I'm speaking about my mum's 
illness and like the fact that I'm started I have started a new job um and it, both of that has like coincided with, at the same time so for a while I felt like I had two full-time jobs and no free time full-time jobs being my actual job my mum and then yeah <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I managed to get through those weeks but I somehow did um I did have <laughs> a quite big anxiety attack um that made me sleep for three days so I mean I think it kind of caught up with me but yeah um the <laughs> I haven't really answered the questions questions question yeah the fact is um I just do. I mean, the thing is that I I won't post a video if I don't have a video to post. Um, I'm not going to stress about bringing a video out just for the sake of bringing a video out. So if I don't have a video, I don't have a video. It's fine. Um, yeah, I guess that's the balance. I think it will be answered more later i just waffle don't i yeah okay let's let's move on let's move on so question number three have you ever thought about starting a patreon no <laughs> so here's the thing about patreon um it's i mean i guess it could be good i i don't know i'm not joined in any patreon groups or i'm yeah what's it called I don't know um I'm not supporting any creator in that way so the thing about patreon is I think it works if you are like a full-time creator and that is your job that is your like main income in life and you have that time and energy to put into that and then we have like the smaller creators so for the bigger creators it kind of makes more sense but also it also feels like a vip kind of thing and um uh, yeah i don't know and then there's all the smaller creators now i'm not saying that you shouldn't start a patron if that's what you want to do um but when it comes to a lot of smaller creators it kind of more feels like they're saying here pay money to hang out with me and i'm like no <laughs> i'm sorry but no uh if it's because so if you want to support your favorite creator in a way i feel like there's other ways to do that than a patreon so yeah i'm not against it but also i think it's become a bit of a fad yeah it's out there it's out there you can hate on me for it i don't care question number four have you made any mistakes on booktube oh i'm sure i have um probably posting this video with the answer to the previous question will be a mistake um but you know we gotta make mistakes don't we as long as we learn from them i don't know um what like mistakes i've made so far that i'm like that is terrible um <laughs> no um I, I'm sure I've made mistakes. Um, I'm clearly not. <laughs> My cat is snoring. Um, yeah, I'm clearly not like devastated over it. So it's probably fine. Question number five. Do you have any advice for new booktubers? Yeah, just do it. I mean, if you want to have a channel and talk, 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 chat, talk, <laughs> and just chat shit about books, do it. If you can hear him, <laughs> it will make a lot more sense. But to me, he's very loud. I'm not sure you can hear him. 
doesn't matter but he's very loud um yeah if you want to have a channel do it um just talk to people comment on people's videos and yeah just don't do that follow me and i'll follow you thing no no don't do that on any platform because it's terrible question number six what are your thoughts on the youtube algorithm I think the algorithm is complicated and I do not understand it whatsoever um, so it's there and I ignore it yeah I don't understand it I'm not sure anyone actually understands it even though they say they do um, so yeah I, I, I have no words um okay so now everything's gone Hey, why over here? So let's see. Question number seven. Are they supposed to be written down like this? I don't know. Okay. Um, how do you decide what videos to make? Basically, I um look at what books I want to read, <laughs> and if I can group them together somehow, I do that, and that's my video. <laughs> You can see I put very much thought into these videos. I used to put like a lot of thought into my videos and it feels like um, that was a lot of effort and it wasn't like rewarding. It wasn't rewarding the say I didn't get the reward for the effort I made and um, that was just tiring. So now I just, uh, I do whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna I just uh, yeah very thought out person here um are you is this question number eight let's do question number eight are you overwhelmed with video ideas <sighs> yes and no I mean sometimes I will get like um no idea what I want to do and that's fine because it's it's just this is just something I do for fun it's not meant to be more than that I mean if it is it is but clearly it's not I just do this for fun and if I have an idea I will do that idea um if I don't I don't have an idea and I'll go a week without a video I don't know. Uh, I kind of do get like loads of ideas all the time because um, that's just how I am as a person but I also sometimes get more ideas than I have time to achieve or manage to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, eight. Question number nine, have you regretted posting a video? I don't think so. I mean, if I do, I just, I can just delete it. Sure, someone may have seen it, but at the same time, I don't take myself too seriously, so who cares? <laughs> Question number, what are we on to now? Uh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, question number, hang on, ten. Question number ten, are the numbers of views slash subscribers a measurement of success? <sighs> I guess, but also it shouldn't be. I mean, if you get, the more subscribers you get, yes, you're gonna get that like happy thrill, but at the same time, you need to remember what you're doing the videos for, what you have this channel for. So if you're doing the videos for followers and subscribers, and that's the same thing for views, <laughs> views and subscribers, um, then you may have the wrong intention with this whole channel thing so yeah to me 
Um, yes, I do get very happy when I get a new follower or I get a lot of views on a video. Um, but at the same time, I'm not gonna cry <laughs> if everyone unsubs and nobody watches my videos. Um, I, that will probably just make me not do videos, which will make me sad, but at the same time, it, it's not the end, <laughs> end of the world. Question number 11. Are you disappointed by the growth on your channel? What growth? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what growth, <laughs> honestly. So I have, I think, let's see. So when I'm filming this video, I have 326 subscribers on my channel. Um, that's three years worth, by the way. So you do the math. Maybe not the best growth or growth at all. <laughs> Am I disappointed? <sighs> I mean, sure, I would love to have more uh, subscribers, but again, I'm not going to cry about it because I'm just doing this for fun, okay? If, if someone watches my videos and thinks I'm a dick, you're probably right. Um, I, like I said, I I don't take myself too seriously. It's it's just it's just for a laugh, honestly. Question number twelve. Question number 12. Have you ever thought about quitting booktube? I don't think so. I don't think so. Have I? Maybe, but I don't think so. Question number 13. What are the most touching comments? <laughs> well, let's jump to the next one, uh, which is... Uh, what are the most negative comments? So I don't get a lot of comments on my videos, so I no, don't think I have any negative ones. If I do, if I get a negative comment, I'm just going to delete it, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I have a very touching one anyway. Anyway, um, I don't know what questions we're on, which number we're on, because it literally the, the thingy has changed everything. So the very last question. In regards to BookTube, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, <laughs> um, maybe I'll be here making more weird videos, which will make no sense because I'm sure I won't make any more sense in five years than I do today. Um, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll be making more videos. Maybe I will have quit. I guess we'll see in five years. Shall uh, shall we make a date of it? Five years. What year is that? 23, 28? So Decem December, October 31st, Halloween in 2028. I'll see you here. And uh, we'll have a catch up in five years. <laughs> is it a date? Mark your calendars. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I don't know what this video is, but apparently it's very long because my camera is about to turn itself off because I've been filming for so long. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you um have like video ideas, and if you have any video ideas you want me to do, just just say and uh i will most likely do it um is there's not a lot i won't do <laughs> yeah thank you for watching i'll see you next time take care bye, -bye.